In this video, you'll see how to streamline configuration management automation using AWS Systems Manager Run Command. With enhancements in Run Command, you can now copy and modify execution documents, rerun entire executions without changes, and monitor Run Command metrics with CloudWatch. Run Command is an automation feature of AWS Systems Manager that allows you to perform common administrative tasks and configuration of managed instances at scale. And now developing configuration management automation has been made much simpler. To demonstrate the new Run Command capabilities, let's set up a new development environment that requires Apache HTTP server to be installed on a large number of Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instances. First, let's navigate to the EC2 dashboard to view the instances we're managing with Systems Manager. As you can see, we have 20 running EC2 instances being managed by Systems Manager. Select the Tags tab to view the key value pairs for these instances. All of these instances share a single key value pair, so they can be managed together in Systems Manager. Let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager and use Run Command to install Apache HTTP Server on these EC2 instances. Run Command uses Command Documents, a type of Systems Manager document, or SSM document, to run commands on your managed instances. You can choose from a variety of predefined AWS command documents or define custom documents. To install Apache HTTP Server on our EC2 instances, let's execute a shell script by using the command document Run Shell Script. Next, let's add the command parameters. Before applying the run command to all of our instances, let's manually apply it to a single instance to ensure everything is working as expected. Run the command. As you can see, the command executed successfully on the target instance. Now that we know it works, we can safely apply the command to our other instances. To save the time and effort of starting over and respecifying the parameters, we can use the Copy to New feature. A copy of the Run Command screen opens, with all the relevant parameters pre-configured. Notice that the commands we previously specified for the Run Shell script document also carried over. Now all we need to do is change the target of the command to include all the instances, which we can do using a resource group or tag. In this case, since all 20 EC2 instances share a common tag pair, let's use the Specify Instance Tags method. Enter the key value pair for the managed instances. Now run the command to set up Apache HTTP server on all the instances. As you can see, the copied run command executed successfully on all 20 EC2 instances. Let's fast forward a bit. A week has passed and the 20 EC2 instances have been rebuilt, still sharing the same key pair. Now we want to install Apache HTTP Server on all of them as before. While we could manually recreate the command document with the shell script, there's an easier way. We can find the original document in the command history and simply rerun it. Select the earlier document and click Rerun. With rerun, the command is run with all parameters kept exactly the same, including the targets. The command again ran successfully. The copy to new and rerun capabilities you just saw make it possible to significantly scale run command executions. You can track their success and quickly catch any potential command errors for individual instances and resources through CloudWatch metrics. Under AWS Namespaces, select the new metric subcategory, SSM Run Command. These are the metrics currently available for Run Command. Let's take a look at the Command Succeeded metric. As you can see, all our commands so far have succeeded. We can create a CloudWatch alarm that will notify us if future Run Command executions fail. The alarm will apply to all commands executed with Run Command. Select Commands Failed as the metric for the alarm. 
Systems Manager sends Systems Manager Run Command metrics to CloudWatch one time every minute. Let's set some conditions for the alarm. To catch all failures, set the alarm to trigger whenever commands failed is greater than or equal to 1. You can select an existing Simple Notification Service, or SNS, topic, or create a new one. Let's create a new one called Run Command Notifications. Designate at least one email address to receive the notification, and then create the topic. Specify a name for the alarm and proceed to the next step. Create the alarm. Now, when a command fails, the alarm will trigger an email notification so we can take appropriate action. You've just seen how to streamline configuration management automation using AWS Systems Manager Run Command. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.